My name is Jim Estes, and today I'm going to talk about a drill that I think is extremely important for the swing plane. So what I want you to do is, and this, by the way, is going to give you an instant understanding of exactly the feeling you want to have in the golf swing. Take a club. You can put a rod, alignment rod, in the grip, or I'm sorry, in the butt end of the golf club. Take the golf club, turn it like you're going to hold it, and then what I want you to do is take that club, put it right against your left hip, so you're holding both clubs here. Now you've got an alignment rod on the ground and a golf ball. And what I want you to do, getting into your good posture position, your weight over the arches, getting feel balanced. The insides of the heels are going to be about the width of your hips. Take a swing back, slow motion, and trace with that alignment rod the target line all the way up. The shaft should be parallel to your target line at the top. And then slowly coming down, trace the line. And do this in slow motion. Right into the impact position. So this is a great feedback tool, visual feedback tool, for learning the proper swing plane. Go right to your impact position. I encourage you to do this drill in slow motion. And if you have five minutes a day, if you do this drill every day, I guarantee you're going to improve your golf swing. So again, I think you'll find this to be extremely helpful. JimEstesGolf.com if you have any questions. I'm looking to see where your pelvis is in the swing. I like how your right hip turns. I love the club face position. I mean, the left arm plane, left forearm plane, and the face of the club are almost parallel. So that's good. That means the club face is pretty square. The path of your swing, you're pretty much a guy that comes down where you should. I mean, you might be a touch steep, just a touch, but not much. You get a little bit of thrust in the pelvis forward. Now that's because in, in the physics of the swing, it's, you're creating 100 pounds of outer force when right. you're swinging fast. So that's going to cause some instability in your pelvis because the club weighs 100 pounds when you swing it. Right. So, you know, there's a couple things that are that I'd like to fix. One is, I think you tuck your head and you round you round under a little too much at impact. I'd mm -hmm. like you to um, work on it. And motion training exercises. What I want you to do is pull your shoulder blades down, lift your sternum, pinch your chin in, try to keep your chest at impact. I don't want your head to drop, and I don't want you to sort of get rounded right. and shrug. Um, but in terms of the club face and your swing plane, it's pretty good. Your head stays pretty still. I mean, I like it. But you can see the pelvis does move forward, and the right knee, I don't want the right knee to come outside of that rectangular box. You see how the knee mm -hmm. goes toward the ball a little bit. Yeah. Um, so you do have a little bit of thrust, right? And that steepens the club shaft at impact. That gets the shaft, the shaft plane to be a little more vertical. Centrifugal force is going to pull the shaft up anyway. But we're going to change. I want you to feel like you're working. And this is not something you go to the course thinking about. This is right. just you practice. So what you would do to practice the movement is put a club across your right toe, left heel at a 45 degree angle, and I want you to push your right knee toward your left ankle. So your hips are moving on a diagonal 45 degree line. Your hips are going to get deeper toward the back wall and you're going to straighten that left leg. So it's going to be straighten that leg. Yeah. So on contact, one thing that's, that's uh, you know, obvious amongst the best players in the world, and I'll show you this, mm -hmm. uh, is She's not going to get any lateral shift. You get some lateral movement. Her, it's not very minuscule. Right. But she's going to shift. But then watch the left leg post, and there's some vertical force. Right. She's pushing up. Right. Right on contact, the left knee is straightening. Right. Um, so, you know, that's something I want to work on with you in motion training. Your left hip should not go past the outside of your left shoe. 
too much. So your left hip is going to shoot back right. and your left leg simultaneously is going to be straightening your left leg as you strike the ball. Yeah. Yeah. So you get a little bit of collapsing in toward the ball. Right. You know, so that's something I want to work on uh, through exercise, you know, training, a, you know, uh, motion training. You know, motor learning, you got to retrain that movement pattern. So you're going to feel like this, this hip is moving on a diagonal line a little more. Yep. Yeah, that's it. Yep. Now, by no means could you consciously think about that and play, <laughs> right? Because that wouldn't be good. <laughs> um, so the things that I want you to fix on the on the golf course for a hook or a pull is I want you to move the ball a half a ball back, mm -hmm. uh, lighten the grip pressure in your right hand, mm -hmm. and then your arm speed's exceeding your body speed. Right. If your arm speed gets too fast relative to the center of your body, you want to synchronize right. that that feeling as if the big muscles of the pelvis and trunk are leading the club into the ball. In other words, I feel like the rotational force of my body turn moves my arms. I don't want my arms right. to be independent. So the rate of closure of the face really should be a function of how you move your body, not your hands. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So this idea of connecting the center of your body with your with the end of the club. So the idea would be, you know, for a, a feel, I'm always feeling that the butt end of the club is moving with the center of my body. Right. That way the face is always closing at the same rate of speed. There's no manipulating of the joints. Mm -hmm. I don't like to see any pronate, supinate, radial ulnar deviation. I don't like, I mean, that's all taking place, right. but I don't want you to be consciously trying to do it. Right. So, I mean, you got you got a lot of a good upside here. Your swing is very good. Now, you're shooting, what's your lowest score ever? Uh, probably like an 87. Yeah. And how many 